Boku no Hero Academia 4th season or My Hero Academia 4 is licensed and produced by Toho Animation and Funimation Entertainment. Studios Bones, Networks and NS YTV. Based on the works by Kohei Horikoshi. Please support the official release. Hello, it's Jack here with more Boku no Hero Academia Season 4 Episode 2. Last time was, well, more or less just a recap episode introducing a seemingly nice reporter. I don't know why I'm so suspicious of him. I think he's even just a filler character anyway. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm half positive. But yeah, I, 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 I don't know why I'm suspicious of him. I, I really don't. To begin with, he seems so nice and... Maybe that in it for itself is the reason why I'm suspicious anyway. Side note, my neighbors are like doing some work, so if there are... I'm not sure if my mic's gonna pick up the noise that happens every now and then, but if it does, I apologize beforehand. In any case, I think we're about to enter this season for reals, for realsies. So, let's get into this. I'm curious. In a three, two, one. God damn it. I forgot this is a thing. I even said as much in the last episode, didn't I? Like, this is such a beloved show. And I don't understand why they need to do this. In all seriousness, though. At least it is a smooth transition. <laughs> <laughs> you are <a> useless successor. <laughs> yeah, which is why he's gonna, you know, get the job of the sidekick. See? <laughs> Plus, you know. The dude from the big three is already working with him anyway. So, might as well. a lot of people though, like even more people, even more names to remember. At least they're doing the epic hero walk, so... There's that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's not reassuring at all. Who knows? Not me. <laughs> okay. Overhaul. For whom? For the League of Villains or the good guys?
In the past, that feels like, I mean, I understand why they would somehow uh, fade a bit away in this new era, but still. On a high. <laughs> Well, at least he knows his stuff. So now it's a free for all on both sides, huh? Well, don't no, know. If he's necessarily the planning type of kind of person. Well, the hero killer was technically never even on their side. I mean, couldn't he just straight up lied? <laughs> <laughs> I don't love the boss that he's just gonna stood up walls in here and and ask for this. Okay. No, what's up with the backstory? <laughs> well, that just happened. Makes his neck like instant death. Wow. Yeah, I mean, nice try. Well, I guess that's what the overhaul is about. <laughs> Lots of instant deaths. <laughs> Oh, that's him. I 
I mean, yeah, that's the general answer to go by. I'll owe you an arm, wow. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. Very positively unexpected. Surprising level of comradeship between them, huh? Honestly. I'm just gonna assume that he has this perpetual smirk on his face. <laughs> Again, that was very positive surprising. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Thought you should. <laughs> it's got a point though, like they're prime targets already. <laughs> Why so though? <laughs> what even? I mean... Yeah, they probably parted way for some reasons. So it's a very divisive ob uh, subject, huh? <laughs> These people really can't mind their own business, huh? <laughs> Well, you know, you already knew as much. A letter of recommendation.
So you know, there's your word, the way your way in. Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> so, you're more embarrassed than anything? A cool one, an inspiring one. Your own one. That's a good answer, honestly. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're gonna aim high, then might as well aim the highest. That's not really a saying. I think it even sounds stupid, so I'm sorry I said it. Even if he isn't that funny himself. <laughs> I don't kind of wonder what would have happened if someone with a quirk would have gotten, uh, wouldn't have inherited it one for all. No, one for all. <laughs> Damn it. By the way, why are you brushing your teeth in the hall? Or, like, whatever this place. Common room? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've got a pretty relaxed one, it seems. I mean, that sure is an intimidating silhouette if we hadn't already seen him. Well, damn. <laughs> Hmm. 
So, he's just helping you out a little bit, huh? That's an impressive shadow. <laughs> What an amazing name. Ah, <laughs> uh, an expected crazy one, I suppose. <laughs> Isn't Tickle Torch an actual thing, though? <laughs> well, I suppose that's where the name comes from. Humor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat this. <laughs> it backfired. <laughs> Still, I'll ask again. Isn't like tickle torture an actual thing that exists? Because man, this puts us in a bad light. Also, it seems that Night Eye, despite all, is still a pretty fanboy, huh? Or they're just setting him up like that to make a like complete 180 later. Again, they had to like him and all might probably split up for a reason. Man, it's weird seeing so much emphasis put on this girl when we don't when I don't even know who she is yet. Next time. It's actually been a while since I've seen a preview now that I think about it. Boy meets. <laughs> Seriously though, not, not just in regard to this show, I feel like most of the other shows I've been wa watching for a while now didn't have a preview in them. So I was legit at this point just expecting a title uh, of the next episode. Completely forgot that they were doing this. Anyway, in regards to this episode, well, the show was fun. Both halves. Like, for the first half, for one, I completely caught off guard there. Uh... But I seriously appreciate the fact that we have another villain for once. Like, we've, for one, everybody's kind of sort of been associated with the League of Villains three seasons long, except for the hero killer who was kind of doing his own thing. But 
Uh, you know, he was kind of a one-off villain in that regard. Like, I understand that he was a major plot point, but I was still sort of there for his arc and then done with. And, I mean, I don't know how long the overhaul is going to stay now, but at least he seems like a proper major antagonist in some other sense. And as he very much put it, he has a plan, an agenda. So, kind of makes him feel a little bit more legitimate as a threat. Plus, you know, he's kind of in the opening and the ending and everywhere, so that's curious. And there's also, of course, the fact that, like, He's sort of against the League of Villains, for now anyway. So, there's also some interesting conflict to be had here. Since it's kind of a free-for-all now, like Battle Royale style. Second half, um, well, it was mostly just setting up uh, meeting Night Eye, Sir Night Eye, I'm sorry. And, well, going by the preview, I suppose, it's not directly meant to be a 180 in the fact that he doesn't like uh, All Might, actually, somehow. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just somewhat put off by the tickle torture thing there. That's odd. It's really off-putting, <laughs> honestly. In any case... Yeah. Sorry, run out of things to say, so... Just gonna cut things here and hopefully we all have can't speak anymore. That will have to be all for now until next time. See you then. Bye.